Hello, and welcome to our Fatal Frame 2 Let's Play. Super excited about this. I am, of course, Lasat. I am a streamer over on twitch.tv slash Lasat, and I also upload stuff like Let's Plays and such on youtube.com slash at Lasat. And I'd like to welcome everybody here. Super excited to get into this. So, before we get into this, I should probably lay out kind of why I'm doing this Let's Play. Number one, I want to show the game uh, the way that it was meant to be played in the original Japanese. You know? It, this game was um, was made originally with the Japanese voice acting, which took um, a long time for it to be able to hear the voice acting in English. Or, sorry, the voice acting in Japanese. Um, thanks to Walgreener's amazing undub patch. So you get to hear like it with good voice acting. The other reason, um, too, is that I want to go back behind a bit of the lore of the game, the backstory, the cultural influences, like Juan and such, and kind of compare that. And if anybody has any questions about the lore and everything, you can ask in the chat or you can um, put in a YouTube comment and such. And the third thing is, this is actually the first game I ever streamed, like when I came back to streaming after like eight years. Uh, I streamed like the last few hours of the game. I didn't create a VOD for that, but that's A-OK. -okay. Not a problem. And I want to come back, I play New Game Plus, and we have a full Let's Play. We just completed our Let's Play of Fatal Frame 1 last week, so I'm super excited to get into it this time as well. But I don't want to to bore everybody too much, so we're just going to jump into it. Uh, as always, let me know if my audio and everything is A-OK, -okay, because that super sucks when that sucks. Okay, so... This is, of course, one a little easier than Fatal Frame 1, so hopefully this will be okay. Load now. Right, I've never done this New Game Plus thing here, so continue. Resumes from the, the previous game. Mission, uh, back to title screen. Um, I believe if we do continue, this works probably. Costume normal, accessory off, difficulty normal, start the game in story mode. Alright, so, without further ado, let's get into it. Onei-chan. ここで遊んだよね。そうだね。ここももうすぐ泣っちゃうんだよね。足大丈夫？痛くない？ちょっとね。でも平気。ねえ、ミオ。お姉ちゃん。私ね、あの時。お姉ちゃん。お姉ちゃん。どうしたの?
All right. So, to recap real quick, we went to the um, the area where uh, Mio and her twin sister Maya used to go as kids, and uh, this place near Minagami Village, All Gods Village, and um, turned had a bit of a flashback where uh, her younger sister Mayu uh, fell and hurt her leg. So you saw her limp, running away, chasing after that butterfly with a limp. And then we're kind of coming back to revisit this area before uh, before a dam uh, is built that kind of destroys this area. So um, we get a bit of a creepy thing. It's kind of like a little bit of daylight at the beginning, and suddenly we get down to dusk and get into the nighttime. Kind of a bit of quiet or loud in some of the cutscenes, and then the actual gameplay can be sometimes kind of quiet. But hey, John. Yeah, this is usually... I think that the patch should be working, so we should have the original Japanese voice acting. I have had a few technical... Oh, hey, chan Difficulties. Of course, Japan is pretty common for twins to have similar names like that. They love the twins. What's that? Butterfly. Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly. Chapter 1, The Lost Village. Um, real quick, let's see what we have going on with our camera here. We've got the, uh, let's get the, whoa, we're almost out of film, actually. Type 7 film, that's our, uh, like our film that is, uh, we can use it forever. We have different equipped functions. Shows the HP of the closest spirit. You can equip up to three power lenses. Makes a sound to warn you of a hidden fatal frame. Adds a zoom function. Zoom in with the L2 button and zoom out with the R2 button. That can actually be useful for um, zooming out to catch more catch more things in your frame. Equipment. We have light to show fatal frame. Shutter button to escape a spirit when you're caught. Increases the spirit power again from capturing spirits. Use more power lenses. Can allows you to be previously invisible. Spirits hidden. The... All right, so I think we have most of our things powered up. This does, of course, use both orbs and the the uh, power up things. We've got the um, the zero lens. We've got oops. Got the zero lens equipped right now, which does a lot of damage. We do have the slow lens, and then there is C as well, which it um, shows the location of a spirit. I haven't really used that one too much. So yeah, mostly it was the. I usually mostly use the zero and the slow lens. I believe it was a way to swap them on the fly. I wonder. Oops, that's a button to take a picture. Well, there's our first picture in the game. Let's see if I can zoom right now. I think I have to... Oops, I think I need to uh, equip that. Or buy that upgrade, I should say. Oops, not that button. Nice. 
cool. And yeah, there's definitely a way eventually you get to swap your film on the fly. That's moving around. Zoom out, that can be useful, I think. Um, I forget what the, the square button does, if it does anything, but in any case, I usually would swap it on the fly. All right, anywho. All God. All God's Village, Minigami Village. Many statues like this throughout the... They're like obsessed with twins in this game, of course. Of course, all the games have like this, uh, like this evil ritual that is holding back the gates of hell, and it's kind of just like a trope of the series that you you always know that there's some kind of horrible ritual going on. All right, so we have a save point over here. Pretty good idea to probably save real quick. You can't run too far ahead of your sister. Save game data. Save on slot two. Save completed. Alright, and we'll resume the game. You save your, your photos in the album separately. Alright, let's get back to it. This is my personal favorite game in the series. It's got a bit more polish compared to um, going the opposite way, I think. Yeah, kind of a... I think I'm a lot more polished in the first game. Maybe we are wide open areas, so you don't get caught in corners and shit as often. Like, they've refined the controls, your actual power-ups you can use more frequently. Hey, an item. Like in the first game, items will glow when you see them, but not, there's something on the ground, but not all of them. Black bag. Several pieces of paper and a photo inside. News clipping. A geological surveyor missing. With the start of construction for all gods damn approaching, Akimuna Masumi, 26 years old, a geological surveyor dispatched to the area has gone missing. Mr. Makimura went to the area to investigate the site that would be submerged once the dam was built, but it hasn't been heard from for five days. Small news clipping. A follow-up. The search for Makimura Masumi-san, the surveyor missing since the 4th of this month, came to a close yesterday. Mr. Makimura had been helping to conduct a geological survey for all God's dam. As of yesterday, he has been missing for 10 days couple. Man and woman. So, yeah, so obviously this guy goes missing, and then seems like his girlfriend, or such, his, all, his uh, girlfriend seems to also be in the uh, picture there. Oh, something's over there. Can't, we saw the ghost, but couldn't get a, uh, like a Pokemon stat moment. Yeah, sweet. Statues of twins throughout the village, of course. What do we got here? Lights are on. Uh-oh. I should mention, this game loves the rumble function of the PS2 controller. Oh, hi! I don't know if I got that. I don't think I did. Oh well. But yeah, this is game New Game Plus, so we can get a few more things. Any more cutscenes in the first game? Oh boy. Thank you. 
Oh boy. That cutscene scared the shit out of me the first time. Don't go too far. Woman's Notebook 1. I've heard rumors about the Lost Village before. Long ago, a massacre occurred on the day of the ceremony, and this the village was wiped from the map. Twin deities statues in the forest lead forest led lost people to the shrine to the village entrance. Once you pass through the gate, however, you cannot go back. The village eternally relives that night of death. The insane laughter of a woman is said to echo throughout the village. The only survivor of the massacre at, of, at the village was a lone woman. Alright. What do we got going on in this room? So yeah, we have kind of the background, like ambient music-y sound. Kind of reminds me of uh, Fatal Frame 1's music. Woman's Notebook 2. Sometimes I sense someone passing by the window. He carries a torch and mutters things. He seems to be searching for somebody, but it's not Masumi. In the distance, I can hear some kind of sad ceremonial song being sung. They say that this village vanished on the day of the ceremony, and that day is repeated over and over again. So, obviously, the, wo the woman who came here looking for her boyfriend, of course. Something in the drawer. Feels like we're being watched by someone. Kimono boxes in here. Storage rooms and save rooms are never quite safe in this series. Ugh. Getting rumbling as I'm like... Yeah, the fact that you're kind of escorting a character is not always helpful in this game. But yeah, New Game Plus is kind of based on playing through, like, the uh, chapters. So... Like, you could, like, start the game over and load from, like, the beginning of a chapter. Like, this game, these games are meant for a lot of replayability. Alright, we got, seems to have a light on over here. Let's see what's going on. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Where? Where? Ma'am? Ma'am? Okay. Something's reflecting light. Herbal medicine. Yeah, we're kind of low on items right here, so not a bad idea to investigate. Looks like an atrium. And this game is so freaky. Like, uh, Fatal Frame 1 is creepy as well, but Fatal Frame 2, dude, like... They really, really nailed this. Something will open there. Woman's Dump before, so missed the third one. Someone, anyone, whoever sees this, look for me. I'm trapped in this village. Help me, Sudo Miyako. So she's the girlfriend of that surveyor, um, uh, Mak Makimura, who came here, and she came looking for him. And of course, she couldn't escape. Like this village, they mentioned, had, like. There was the horrible ceremony, and then it made it normally impossible to come in here, but a few people seem to be able to get in, and they get trapped, of course. Let's see. So, yeah, we'll cut, continue through. Let's try going upstairs. Man, it does sound a lot like the Humano Mansion in Fatal Frame 1, just the sound. Locked. Family crest representing ginger. Shoga. Popular Japanese. Chotto mate. I didn't mean you to stay here. 
Okay, make her. Someone's near. Okay. Whoa, camera angles. But yeah, shoga, ginger, and Japanese used a lot for cooking. The uh, there's a popular expression called shoga and I. Oh, hi. Ha. Huh. Walks inside. Talking about searching for something. Can we go in here? Locked. Okay. Well, darn. Is this the way? No, that's the way out. I always get confused by here. Like, I feel like I should be pointing the other direction, you know? But, oh well. It's a, little, it's a little cold in here, you know? A little chilly. Hey, an item. Women's notebook 3. Okay, we missed this one. Masami, it's me, Miyako. I came to look for you. Let's go home together. Together we can make it. Call for me if you find this. I'll be nearby. Miss you. So, obviously, she went there to look for him, but a lot of these games have a bit of, like, t different timelines going on, so you can be looking for another character. You can be looking for another character in the same place and sometimes catch glimpses of them, but they're not really there. I think you can actually... Oh, it's so weird when you, like... You, like, run into your sister and, like, the, the control rumbles and you're like, oh shit, what happened? And then you're fine. But I think you can actually walk into the garden in the, pe in the, the remake for the Wii. Which I haven't played. It's kind of divisive. Some people love it, other people hate it. Murky water, yeah, I guess we just backtrack. Old coal brazier. Brazier, I guess is how you say that. But yeah, this is the game that people say, like, yo, this is like Silent Hill 2 levels of quality of a horror game, right? Like, this is held up as like an all time horror classic. You got the fixed camera angles, but you can switch to first person, so it's not quite the same. Oh, hi. Vanishes at altar. It looked like she went... Well, I kind of thought she went the other way, but I guess we'll... Look in here. Slightly ajar. That's an item. Something strange. Flashlight. So it seems like the batteries are still good. Someone must have left it here. Camera obscura pointers. An old book is under the flashlight. Camera pointers. This camera was made by Dr. Oso to take photographs of beings in the spiritual plane that cannot normally be seen. It can reveal events from the past through the lingering thoughts of individuals. It is also able to photograph spiritual beings that are invisible to the human eye. Taking a photo of an unseen being has an ex exorcismal effect, but simultaneously creates a sort of link with them. If the camera obscure is used carelessly, these beings may even gain the upper hand on the user. I wonder if I can photograph the site at the heart of the villagers' forbidden ritual. If Dr. Oso were here, I'm sure he would be excited. Makabe Seijiro. So, Fatal Frame 1, of course, had the camera, and uh, which gets destroyed at the end of the game. The, but they didn't call it the camera obscure. They came, kind of came up with a backstory for Fatal Frame 2. So Dr. Oso was the, um, the guy investigating the spiritual world who came up with the camera and several other inventions. inventions. Makabe Seijiro, I believe, is the folklorist of this game, and folklorists in the series are always a recurring feature, but they do kind of get fucked up. Much older than the flashlight. Oh. Camera. Obscura. But you also invite misfortune to you by using it. Oh. 
Hoshi. So yeah, he's... So you can see ghosts through the camera. But you also draw ghosts to you. Uh-oh. Basic camera operation. The camera obscura is a, spirit, a special camera that allows you to exorcise spirits by taking photographs of them. When you face a direction where a spirit is, the filament at the bottom right of the screen on, or top of the viewfinder will glow. Once you've located a spirit, raise the camera with the circle button. When you found the spirit, center it in the viewfinder screen and press the shutter button, the X button, or the R1 button. To take a photo of it, photo of it. Default settings. A lot of these classic horror games actually had a lot of different settings available because, like, they kind of played a lot different than other third-person games. Anything over here? Mortuary tablets. Pretty common for Japanese homes. Of course. Was it Juan had a kind of a freaky one? Something's over here, isn't it? container freaky room hey, an item something on the floor herbal medicine your healing item throughout the series of course excuse me excuse me excuse me right. sign door broken I forget if I ever actually got in there. I, like, that has to be like an area you can go into, right? I just don't personally remember if I did my first playthrough. Like, one of my regrets is not having streamed my first playthrough and made saved VODs forever and everything. Like, I streamed, like, the end of it, but I did not save those VODs. So this is kind of making up for it a bit. Oh! I knew it was happening, coming, but I still... Oh, nice, we actually have some film now. Oh, that was any poor woman. I don't think there's a, uh... Kimeta, it's gone. You draw the ghost to you by using the camera, even if you can fight back with it. All right, the presence is gone. Actually, I guess we'll switch back. I feel like there is a way to swap it on the fly that you unlock in the game, but I forget. Like... I don't know where that exactly is. Wait, memo? Camera Obscura. Yeah, oh well. Not gonna worry about that. There's probably something about how to use it somewhere. So yeah, they don't really have keys in this game the way that Resident Evil does, so... Usually the game kind of signposts where you're supposed to go next. It's a little pixelated, actually. Alright. Let's try going to the main room now, I guess. Well, no, not the right way. Camera angles, man. Try this room again. So it sounds like we have to get a key to go upstairs. Whoa. Or 
Or could, or could try to make us go to the save room, but... But yeah, of course this is the moment in the game where, like, it's, uh, you, you've officially gotten the camera, so... Like, at this point, Pokemon Snap moments will come up more, and, uh... You haven't quite encountered your first ghost, but that you can actually fight. Alright, what if we try the save room over there? Chotomate. Oh, she's talking about something like hard to hear pretty quickly. Probably not a bad idea to save again, you know? Save game. Nothing else in here, right? I guess the only place we can really go to is the, uh... Watch it, who's it? The room in the back of the building again. But yeah, this is my this is my personal favorite in the series so far. It is the one that's freaked me out, maybe the most, and uh, it just plays very smoothly. It's longer than the first game, but not overly. There's nothing in this little closet over here, right? No. It plays well. It's not as hard as the first game, but I don't think it needs to be. Like I love Fail Frame Three as well, but it's a little longer. It is like, so Fatal Frame 1, of course, like, you had a very complicated story with different storylines happening throughout it, of course, and, um, this game does too, but this game has way more, like, like, it, uh, actual story happening as you're going along here, right? Whereas, uh, Fatal Frame 1 was just most of the notes. Here we've got notes and gameplay. Fatal Frame 3 kind of, like, Increases the amount of, of storyline from the notes as well again. Anything back here? Murky water in the washman. There is of course times where you start running around being like, where the hell am I supposed to go? Lanterns back there. Nothing in here. Okay. But yeah, sometimes you're just trying to trigger the, the next thing that happens. We missed something in this room, couldn't we? Oops. Not the stairs. Right here. Or of course we could try to leave the house, that might get something done. Oh, Woman's Notebook 5, missed that. Sometimes I hear an eerie song-like sound coming from the family altar. It sounds like it's coming from deep below. Maybe it's just the wind, or maybe there really is something behind that wall. So, kind of hinting that there may be something behind the wall over here, I think. Wait, what? Drawers ransacked, so... Yeah, the, the two characters were living here. Whoa. Come on. Come on. My only part, annoying part of this game is dealing with multiple characters. What if we just try to escape? Oh, let's just try to go out the front door. See what happens. It's locked. Held shut by some kind of powerful force. Oh. That was right. <laughs> Uh oh 
Oh shit. Bash is a door. Yep, something's over there. <laughs> still sounds like there's. Still s seems to be implying there's something in here. Oh, hi. Hey. A different place shows in the photo. Full razor somewhere. Alright, so. This is like one of your main. Like story or like one of your main ways to unlock things in this game is they show you a different place in the photo. You go there, take a picture of it there, or, or interact with it, and then it opens the the thing, which is kind of a recurring thing throughout the series. There's someone here. Yep, we come over here and boom. Something shows in the photo. So we did see a bit of a cutscene with some choking happening. Looks like an injured man. Oh, hi. Kuru. Can I get off? Damn, we got we didn't have enough time to get the the next picture. Kuruna. Don't come here. Yeah, there's kind of like a whole like long story about these characters. Um I do recommend Tara Devlin's Koabana YouTube channel where she goes into a bunch of the backstory of the series, of course. That's a uh, pretty cool. It's really nice to find out more stuff about the lore. But, and yeah, we've gotten that, so... Back to the uh, room that the game wanted us to go into. But this game does have a lot of side like areas to go into and everything, which... Or, like, it's the main part of one section, but you can come back later. So, it's up to you to figure out how much you want to mainline and how much you want to uh, go off the beaten trail. Looks like there's something inside. About the window? Old wind blows in. Kimonos are spilling out. Sometimes they have you investigate every nook and cranny before you actually um, find whatever it is you're looking for. It looks like there's something over here. Okay. Empty, right? Oh shit. Neo, are Something shiny. Ginger key. Oh hi. Yeah, they made they, like the every game kind of has like these uh, real people from like relatively recent in the game's timeline to uh, that you kind of feel sympathetic for. Hi. Automatically, the camera points towards her. Of course, these games are set in the 80s or early 90s. So yeah, whenever you go for these, you have to kind of like, in this game at least, you stay still for a second and uh... And let the camera automatically go to the, to the uh, place. Let's see, what we got in here? Some dishes and pots. Something in the drawer? Herbal medicine? Gotta check every cabinet, of course.
Hey, tape 61 film. Sometimes it's good to like look through your camera because you can actually kind of miss certain items a lot of the times. All right, so. Oh no, the lost village, Beckoner. This is in fact the lost village. She's not wrong about that. That's not where I want to go though. I want to go this way. Blah. All right, there we go. What, did we see Woman's Notebook 6? How much time has passed since I came here? How long will this night last? I can't take the darkness. It's driving me crazy. I have to get out of here. I have to see Masumi. Needs to find her boyfriend. I think that was the thing we saw on the on the table from earlier. It's a kimono over there. Old kimono on display. Woman's Notebook 7. I must be tired. If I start to relax, I pass out. Even in a crazy place like this, the, the darkness here is creeping into my dreams. Slaughter. Rivers of blood. Fallen people. A woman in a blood-stained kimono. Insane laughter. And twin sisters calling out, Don't kill me! That woman's laugh is seared into my mind. I don't want to sleep anymore. So yeah, she's clearly losing it while she's stuck in this village. Like, her surveyor boyfriend came here, and then uh, she came chasing him. Hey, there's an item in there. Cool. Oh, out of the way. Out of the way, friend. Obviously, we're safe, right? Nothing could possibly attack us in this room. Oh, 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 oh. Is not facing the right way. Woman's Notebook 8. Masami found my note. He was in the village. I can see him soon. I can't move. I'll wait here. He'll be back. He'll find the way out. If he comes back. He came. Oh boy. Stops abruptly. <laughs> Oh shit. Capturing exorcising ghosts, spirits. You can exorcise spirits by taking photographs of them with the camera obscura. The greater the response indicated on the charge gauge in the capture circle, the greater damage you can inflict on the spirit. When the charge gauge glows red, that instant is a shutter chance. If you can shoot during this instant, you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit and repel it farther blast back. Use this blast back ability will push back an approaching spirit. You must have film to shoot. When shooting in succession, you have to wait for the next shot to load before you're shooting again. While loading and pressing the shutter button will have no effect. Load time is shown at the top right of the screen. Higher power film gives more damage and loads quicker. Alright. So... Shoot, I guess. There's no quick turn, as far as I know, in this game, compared to uh, Fatal Frame 1. Are you there? Nope. You can get two hits, uh, I believe, if you uh, get that shutter chance there. Oh!
be creeping me out so much. Chapter 2 Twin Shrine Maidens There is something on the floor. Aragonite. Looks like a glowing blue crystal. The spirit must have dropped it. Once you find the spirit stone radio, you can use radio on the menu to listen to stones. Spirit orb required. Spirit orb. Spirit orb arrives used to raise the maximum levels of the camera's basic functions, so you need to have both points and the spirit orbs. Alright, well, that is the end of chapter one, and it just kind of uh, throws you, tosses you directly into, um, into chapter two there, so I think we're going to take, well, thank you everybody for watching chapter one as we begin this video. Uh, if you're watching live, we will take a quick break before we jump into uh, getting through Chapter 2. And um, if you're watching on YouTube, of course, it'll be the next video. So hang tight, guys. We will be right back.